So what's an epiphany? So do you want sincere answers, or, or is this like lighthearted? So I was trained as a certain kind of economist, a Keynesian economist, and I, and I spent 10 or 15 years trying to learn about it, and I got pretty good at it. And there's one particular, uh, and I was working on a paper, one particular day, partly with a colleague telling me about myself, I realized the whole, it was like the foundation got pulled out. It was like in 10 minutes. I realized that the whole thing was, I had to go back to school. That was kind of a depress. It was it both depressing and it, I faced a choice. I basically had to retrain. So that's, that happened when I was about 29, 30. So that was one. Then the other one was that was professional. The other one was when, when I got divorced. In my my, um, you know, I thought I, I had been pretty happy, and then I realized that my ex-wife was miserable, and she she kind of told me, and then I realized like try. Spent time figuring out what felt pretty bad about it, and then uh, and I tried to figure out <laughs> um, things about myself that contributed to that, and things that didn't. So I spent a lot of time thinking about that. My greatest epiphany in life, I think. Uh, I need to think for a second on my greatest sort of thing. Uh, I think realizing that uh, normal people can do great things was something that I did not appreciate until somewhere a few years ago where I realized, geez, I was a normal guy. I really didn't expect to do any of this, and it just sort of happened to me. And uh, it can happen to anyone. You've got to get a little lucky, but really, you know, you go out and you try, and maybe it'll happen to you. For me, the moments that I felt most transcendent, and I think that provided you know, that sense of epiphany for me, have almost all been moments where I've been able to enjoy a group activity um, at a high level. So that's included, I, I happen to play violin, playing chamber music with, with, a group of, with a group of friends, and that excitement and the pleasure of creating something together that way. And I think also the, uh, the science work that I've been describing, so much of it is done with these groups, of, small groups of people bouncing ideas around in, in a room together. And the, you know, the, the aftermath of sitting around a room with friends you know, late at night talking about the world, I, I think those sorts of creative things that you can do with other people, for me, is, is what feels transcendent and also has given me a sense of you know, what, you know, what, are, the epiph what are the moments that I pick, picture most when somebody says, where have you had epiphanies? Epiphany. I'm not sure that, I guess maybe one example was um, realizing that uh, the test for causal direction that I had invented actually gave an answer in, a, in a, an important uh, model that other people had used. It later turned out I was wrong, but <laughs> at the time it seemed like a great discovery. Find something that interests you and study it deeply so that you will become an expert in that and it will carry you a long way. As you grow old, you realize what is important in life, and you realize who will be with you after everything is said and done, and this is your family. This is the most important thing in life, really. <laughs>